What is up, players? It's Warboss Tape back up in this mug. Welcome to my video unboxing and assembly of the Space Marines Apothecary for the Primaris Space Marines. I love this model. It has the three things that I look for in a figure when I'm thinking about purchasing it. It has some great bits all over it. It uh, The bits look like they're going to be fun to paint. It's posed in an interesting way. And uh, finally, it tells a story. It has a narrative story to it. He's holding... Uh, uh, one of those little space marine glands that he just ripped out of the body on the base there So I am really really excited to dig into it. Here we go You've got two half frames or half sprues half frames of sprue You've got your instruction manual here with a painted model and the two options for uh, both the gun as well as the helmet and I think the little drill bit on his left shoulder so when I was building this guy up I didn't realize that uh, there are a couple of different options to build it. And you can see there on the right page in the middle, you can either build him with a saw on his uh, left, over his left uh, shoulder, a little saw arm or a needle arm. And attached to that, you're going to have either a taser or a drill bit. And um, he's got a really interesting looking magnifying lens thing attached to the front right side of his collar and there's just so many things on the model that i didn't realize when i was looking at the box that when i'm actually going to be painting them up i'm going to really look for because they look to be really really fun so uh you've got the stats in the back of the of the instruction manual there you've got your base and you have your transfer sheet so looking at the first half a sprue the first thing that you will probably notice is the half torso of the space marine that he's standing on and uh, I'm really, really excited to paint that guy up as well as just everything on the model looks really, really great. He's got the apothecary symbol, which is almost like the, oh, what's that? That symbol that um, you use if you're like in healthcare. It's a staff with a snake wrapped around it. The Space Marines have their own interpretation of that. And it almost looks like a really twisty infinity sign. He's got that on his bolt pistol. He's got that on the holster at his hip. And I think he's got that on the middle of the backpack there. You can see right on the bottom part of that sprue. He is, uh, he also, you can either equip him with a bolt pistol or something that looks like a little needle gun. And the needle gun has three different parts to it that uh, I wasn't really paying attention to how to build that. I didn't even know it was an option. So I was trying to build the, um, I was trying to build the two little side bits that are supposed to go on the needle gun onto this bolt pistol and as you can see here it kind of it didn't fit and i was wondering like why it's not fitting and then i realized oh it's it's a completely different different bit i should have looked at all the pieces but that's okay i got an extra bolt pistol i i like using this configuration the little needle gun i think anything that's different is is more fun to paint so not sure what the rules are for it in the game hopefully uh, it's as cool in the game as it looks. If not, I'm, I'm still going to paint it like that because I, I always err on the side of coolness and the rule of cool. This uh, sprue, the only extra bit is the head, the bare head or the helmet, depending on which option you go with. And on this sprue, you get the extra drill bits that you didn't use. So I did not use the, uh, I did not use the needle and I did not use a taser, which is actually pretty cool. Like the fact that they sculpted a little taser that you could paint the little uh, electronic uh, electric lightning bolt in between. They sculpted that onto the taser itself. So you can paint it bright blue and make it look like there's a little electric charge going through it. I decided to go with the saw arm and the drill bit because in my head, this apothecary isn't so much about um, tranquilizing and sedating and numbing the pain. Uh, he's more <laughs> of a, a bone saw. Sawbones, that's the word I'm looking for. He's an old sawbones. He's going to get in there. He's going to um, hold the dying space marine down and saw into him and pull out that little space marine gland and preserve the, the chapter for future generations. That's what all those little flasks are on his torso, uh, the one that he's holding off of his arm. And he's got some on his hip too, which is really cool. They sculpted that onto the model that not only is the apothecary uh, you can tell it's not like the last um, Space Marine command kit where the apothecary was just extra bits you put onto a basic Space Marine. This Space Marine 
model was built to be an apothecary from his apron down to the little bits hanging off of him to the fact that he's holding a flask for uh with, with the i don't know like embalming fluid or whatever that he's going to put the gland into he's looking at a gland that he just ripped out of the space marine judging it to be uh, pure and ready to save and he's got the little magnifying lens things right over on his collar and uh, a little extending arm for the light so that he could shine it on his work because everybody needs a hobby light. <laughs> These should never work in low light conditions. Always make sure you have lots of natural light and uh, pick a good UV bulb. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review. I give it a thumbs up. This is one of my favorite Space Marine sculpts. I can't wait to unbox and uh, show off the chaplain that's going to be next. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button below. Leave me a comment before you go. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Latest players!